Hello, in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about Grasshopper's remote control panel. The remote control panel provides a minimal interface in Rhino viewport and it allows you to interact with your Grasshopper definition without having Grasshopper window open. It's quite convenient when you want to present what your definition actually does and uh, not having to open the definition itself or switch between screens, minimize and move it around. It's also uh, convenient because it uh, allows you to save some screen space. If you activate Grasshopper window in the main menu bar under view, you can see if you click, you can see the remote control panel option. Currently it's turned off. Let's turn it on. And this is the panel. So now if I minimize my grasshopper window, the panel is still visible and you can put it wherever it feels more convenient to you. Let's put it back and let's open grasshopper window again. Uh, first, what I want to mention is that not all the uh, grasshopper objects have um, the possibility to be published into the remote control panel. But the ones that have the possibility to be published, you would find under params and input. So here you would find number slider. We can also choose boolean toggle button. I think even if we choose color swatch, let's check it out. So if we right click on the number slider, it has the possibility. So the menu pops up and you see at the very bottom the possibility to publish to remote panel. If we check the toggle, yes, that also has the possibility to be published. The button, color swatch. I think even the panel has this possibility. If I go again to see some, let's see if we pick color picker. So that's a nice one. Sometimes I like to use this one. And if I right click, you can see that this one does not have a possibility to be published into the remote control panel. So these are all the parameter input objects. Uh, but obviously, if we talk about the components, Let's say here we have box two points, we cannot publish it. Obviously, because this is something that produces, so it computes, it, it, it does something with the parameters that we are inputting in it. And let's now focus on the two boxes that I have here. Let's start with the first one. And I, I want to publish these three number sliders to my remote control panel. Let's start with the first one, select, right click and choose publish. And as you can see, I already have now automatically this new group created, which says export and it has inside this group has this uh, parameter X coordinate. And if I Click, select, click, and just manipulate it. You can see in Rhino uh, window the dimensions changing, but then you can also see that in the Grasshopper window the slider is also changing accordingly. Okay, so let's right click on the Y coordinate and then choose Publish to Remote Control Panel as well, and then with the set. So now we have three coordinates here, which are all interactive. I can choose to manipulate them. And let's go back to our grasshopper window now. And another thing what I want to do is that I want to change, I want to make these uh, names for my parameter objects to be more refined because here I actually have two points, but when it says like x coordinate y and z, it seems as if it's only one point, and I want to 
identify that no, in fact, I have two points. So let's right click on this slider and let's just specify that I have a point and then x parameter and y parameter for this point. Then I have b point and also x and y parameter for this one. And for the B point, I also have Z parameter. I changed the names of the sliders in the grasshopper window, but you can see that it was automatically updated in the remote control panel as well. So this is very convenient. So now let's go to the remote control panel edit mode. You can access it by just clicking on this pencil, which says edit panel. And you can see the orange background now uh, that signals you that this is an edit mode and there are certain things that can be done here, which cannot be done with the, within the default mode. So now if I right click on my new group name here, I can change the name of the group and let's title it box 01. So with my group a title now I'm identifying that this is the box number one. And I can also change the color of the group just to make it more visible and easier to identify. Just click outside. We can expand and collapse the components within the group so that they, when expanding, they're all visible and then collapsing, they're not visible. We can, what else we can do? We can also add a separa separator. So this is for visual purposes. We can also add custom label here. If I right click on them, I can just points. For the first box. Again, there's some um, visibility problems with the P letter, but that doesn't matter. We can leave it like this for now. So, this is already quite customized. I like it. Let's now leave the edit mode. And let's go to the box number two and select the, the last slider. Let's right click on it and let's just identify again that it's point B and that it's X, Y, Z coordinates, all three of them. And then right click on it and choose publish to the remote control panel. And we now have the slider within our old group. Let's go to edit mode and let's try to create new group, add group, select here. Let's select the slider now and try to drag it to the new group so that we would have each group for each of the box. Okay, so just drag and drop into the new group and then right click on this group and then type box 02 and then we can also change the color. And let's edit, uh, exit the edit mode. Okay, so now we have two boxes within two groups. And as you can see, we can modify the other one as well as the first one. Maybe I said that we should explore the color swatch. So let's go to display preview and then select custom preview. Connect our first box and then go to params input color swatch. And then connect and we can also change the color maybe similar to this one. I'm using here just to pick 
color tool. Okay, so we can. Mm, I'm selecting the object and using Alt key to make a copy. And then right click on the swatch, select pick tool, and then pick another color. So now we have a nice touch that we have groups and uh, the color of our group within the control panel matches the preview color of the object. Let's just experiment with publishing. So again, what happened is that uh, it published into the second group, so I need to put it back. And then this one. So then if I double click on the swatch, exit the edit mode, and if I double click on the swatch, I can change now the color as well. So the last option I need to discuss with you within the remote control panel is the is delete. What to do when you want to get rid of some some data within the control panel. So you need to go into first you need to access the panel edit mode. So again click on that pencil and then you can select a certain parameter and just drag it out of the control panel and just release and then if you want to delete the whole group you can do the same thing just select drag and drop okay i think uh, this is it so now if i like, close the grasshopper window so even if i close the grasshopper window you can see the remote panel is still active so this is the end of this tutorial we have discussed the remote control panel option in Grasshopper and, and Rhino in great detail. I will see you in the next one.